The best thing that can happen to the smartphone industry is paying good money and getting absolute value for what you paid for. And the best thing has happened. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra and if you can afford to pay $1,200 or 15,000 Ghana seeds for any smartphone, you have no business picking any other device other than this. I ran up a check, I might do it again. This is what I classify as a worthy upgrade. There are a lot of people with the assumption that this is no different from last year's Galaxy S23 Ultra or even last two years Galaxy S22 Ultra, but they'll be quite wrong. Yes, it still has the same design language, same button placement, speaker placement, S Pen placement, but the changes occur in places that truly matter. For one, the entire build of this device is titanium, which easily makes the Galaxy S24 Ultra lighter in weight especially when comparing it to its predecessor. But also, if you're not a fan of phone cases, the rest are sure the new build attracts less noticeable fingerprints, as well as being less prone to scratches. It's also worth noting the area of cap displays on Samsung devices ends this year. The new display is completely flat from end to end, which I really appreciate, especially when making use of the S Pen for note taking or simply making use of the new AI features, or even it's being comfortable to hold in hand. It's also way brighter than before at 2600 nits. Perfect for outdoor usage, but it can also dim all the way down. If you view certain Samsung televisions, you notice some are very resistant to reflections. And it seems that same technology has been carried over to the Galaxy S24 Ultra's display. It makes the whole viewing experience really enjoyable. As you should expect by now, there's a super fast ultrasonic under display fingerprint scanner, which in my opinion is the fastest I've used so far. Let me skip to the parts most people are interested in as far as the S24 lineup are concerned. It's Galaxy AI. It was the most talked about at the packed event and even Samsung barely spoke about their hardware devices. It was AI, AI, AI. I even posted a video on my Instagram and the comments were full of questions about this. If you are not on my Instagram, you can follow me at Desi underscore Ocean, but I'm not surprised Samsung decided to do this. Galaxy AI is basically a collection of AI features meant to help you do things easily on your device. This is possible due to the collaboration between Samsung and Google with their own Gemini AI model. I have made active use of these AI features for about a week now and I must say they are really impressive. Not perfect, but impressive when they work. Take a look at this. This is generative field and object recomposition. Essentially, you can use the onboard AI to move a subject to any place in a photo and the AI fills the cutout parts. Also, you can resize any image and have the AI fill in the blanks. Galaxy AI can turn any video into a high quality slow motion video by just pressing on the screen whilst the video is playing which is really cool. But these next AI features are truly going to change interactions on an incredible level. There's an included Galaxy AI feature known as translation and it consists of several categories. There's text assist which allows you to communicate with someone typing a different language from what you understand. So you could have someone texting in French and you may not understand French. But with text assist, it translates their text into a language you understand and also translates your text to a language they understand all in real time. And they do not need to have a Samsung device for this to work. This goes a step further with actual verbal communication with call assist live translation. You can speak your native language to a person speaking a completely different language and the AI translates the entire verbal conversation in real time. This has broken the language barrier completely and at this point, you have no excuse to not communicate with people speaking completely different languages from what you understand. If you are someone who travels a lot, this will be extremely useful to you. Then again, this isn't completely accurate, but as time goes on, it will definitely improve. However, this is good news. If you own any of the Galaxy S23 devices, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 or the Galaxy Z Flip 5, all these AI features will be available later this year via software update. The AI features aren't done. With Samsung's partnership with Google, they've made available a new feature called Circle to Search. Like the name implies, whilst using your device, should you see something you're curious about and want to know more information about it, just activate the Circle to Search feature and circle around the object. It will provide you with instant information. Think of Google Lens embedded directly into every part of your phone. It works within all your favorite apps like TikTok, Instagram, and even Pinterest so you don't have to worry about it. There are some other features I haven't really found useful yet, but may be useful to you right now. 
you can easily summarize notes into bullet points and key points within the notes app. For very long notes, I have noticed it does struggle sometimes to summarize everything into something meaningful. But for smaller notes, it does it just fine. You can also use text assist to switch the style or tone at which you type. It will rephrase your text to have either a more professional tone or casual tone depending on which tone you choose. I haven't really made use of this, but an amazing feature nonetheless. I assume certain Galaxy AI features will be exclusive to the Galaxy S24 Ultra since it's the most expensive amongst all three devices. But unfortunately or fortunately, all these Galaxy AI features are available for all three devices and even more coming later this year. I would have wanted more exclusive ones for just the Galaxy S24 Ultra. There's only one major difference in terms of camera hardware on the Galaxy S24 Ultra when comparing it to the Galaxy S23 Ultra from last year and that is the new 50 megapixel telephoto camera which brings 5x optical zoom as compared to the 10x optical zoom on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. You're still getting the 200 megapixel main camera, 10 megapixel telephoto, as well as the 12 megapixel ultra wide. In terms of differences on upgrade, you'd barely notice any difference if you're using last year's Galaxy S23 Ultra until you zoom closely into the photo. The S24 Ultra does capture a bit more detail, but it's less brighter than the Galaxy S23 Ultra. But for general use cases, the Galaxy S24 Ultra has fantastic cameras. It handles various conditions very well, whether it's daytime, nighttime, or even poorly lit environments. You would be able to capture stunning pictures regardless of how skilled you are as a mobile photographer. The Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with a 5000 mAh battery that should easily last you the entire day. Bear in mind, this is dependent on what you use your device for. I've been able to clock about 13 hours of screen on time and have a battery life of about 58% left at the end of the day and I've easily gone two days on a single charge with casual usage as you should expect. This was with the screen resolution of FHD Plus instead of QHD Plus. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor powering the Galaxy S24 Ultra turns the device into a beast. It's quick and snappy and easily handles heavy tasks with ease. I've tested it heavily on power intensive games like Call of Duty Mobile at the highest settings possible and I've not run into any issues whatsoever. No lag, but then again you could experience lagging due to slow internet connection and not because of the processor. It also allows for heavy usage of Galaxy AI features like Live Translate and Circle to Search, which are really snappy when making use of them. But when making use of Generative Fill, it does take some time to process it, which is expected since it's mostly reliant on cloud rather than processing power. You shouldn't run into any issues as I personally haven't run into any issues myself. There are so many factors that come into play when considering the Ultra devices from Samsung as opposed to choosing the Plus and the main device and those same factors are still present in the 2024 lineup of devices. There's a bigger and brighter display, better build quality, better cameras, better battery as well as the inclusion of the S Pen. And I honestly believe this is a better option as far as your wireless allows you. Are you considering purchasing the Galaxy S24 Ultra? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe to this channel. It's simple. As always, I'm Desi. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.